This is BBC One in the North West. Now at 10 o'clock, the BBC News with Michael Burke and Martin Henfield. Last stand for the Taliban. They say they'll fight to the death. The key eastern city of Jalalabad is the latest to fall to local warlords. The Americans say the noose is tightening around bin Laden and his men. Free and safe, the Western aid workers who've escaped from the Taliban. Anti-terrorist police arrest six people over the London and Birmingham bombings. And tomorrow the world, the Irish celebrate winning through to the World Cup. In the northwest, a gas explosion injures six residents as they return to the flats they were told were safe. And the visitors watching the visitors by floodlights, an illuminating study of new arrivals at Martin Mir. Good evening. The Taliban are still falling back on their strongholds tonight, apparently intent on a last stand against their enemies. Their leader, Mullah Omar, said they would fight to the death rather than to surrender to what he called fascists. The situation on the ground is confused, but it appears most of Afghanistan is now in the hands of the Northern Alliance or local warlords. In a moment, John Simpson in Kabul on new evidence of the extent of bin Laden's terror network. But first, Ben Brown from Jalalabad. He was one of the first reporters in after this important eastern city fell. No, indeed. It's now uh, 27 minutes past 10. I'll be back a little later with an update on the day's headlines. But now we join our news teams across the UK. Back now to London and to Michael Burke. Good night. And the main news again tonight, a hundred British commandos are tonight in Afghanistan to clear a path for a larger humanitarian mission. Jalalabad has fallen, but the Taliban are said to be holding their ground in Kandahar. On Newsnight, over on BBC Two, an exclusive interview with the Italian scientist who plans to come to Britain within days to start cloning humans. But from the 10 o'clock news, good night. Good evening to you. I don't think we're going to need quite so many blankets on the beds tonight.